Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna teach you one way, one idea, and hopefully a seed that can grow and inspire you. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how you can make a cool motion graphics transition, an easy motion graphics transition that you can use on your videos if you have a YouTube channel or if you wanna do YouTube videos. A lot of times using these type of transitions helps to keep your viewers engaged and just to a little bit show sort of like to show that you care about the projection of the video and then so it takes a little bit more, more time and adds a little bit of spice to your videos right okay so let's just go ahead and start a new fusion composition we're gonna make it two seconds long 24 frames per second that's what most of the time is used um you can also do 30 but it's up to you Okay, and once inside Fusion, what you want to do is you're going to create a new background node and we're going to make the alpha channel of it transparent by moving that drag, that thing. Okay, we can take the high quality right now here. When I'm working and recording, I like to take this out so the rendering doesn't take too long and you can do that too. You can also do motion blur, but since none of them actually have them activated yet, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're going to get rid of that media pool tab and we're going to start to work okay the first thing that we want to do is we want to create um, two merge nodes and then we're gonna create two background nodes and connect them to those merge nodes like these and we can change the color let's make one let's make it yellow and the other one is gonna be black so it's gonna be like Halloween style okay so then we're gonna add a rectangle to this one and a rectangle to that one this one is going to be the one on the left. So first of all, we're going to increase the height to one. So it covers the whole thing. And then the center here will put to 0.25. So that's going to bring it to the left. And then we're going to do the same thing for this one. And we're going to change the position to 0.75. And that's going to cover the other side. This yellow thing, it's bothering me a little bit because I'm not able to see the rest. So I'm going to change the color of that. I'm going to make it red. McDonald's. Just kidding, you gotta eat healthy, guys. Um, okay. Then the next thing that we need to do is um, we can add another merge node and a text node, okay? So this text node is gonna be an, let's write Suave. And then we're gonna bring this one here. So let's say you wanna create this one and use it sort of like if you have tutorials or whatever you can use these and replace these by like step one or step two or whatever indicator you want to put and if you don't want to you don't have to add it okay so we have that in place right there and the next thing that we need to do is we need to animate it so we're gonna go to frame five and we're gonna create a keyframe for the center of both rectangles that we have then we're gonna go to frame 15 and we're gonna bring create the next keyframe for both there and then we're gonna go to frame 25 and create the next keyframe i'm doing this this way because if you already have a sort of like a clear vision vision of what you have you can already set the, these things up so that then it that you don't have to like go back and forth every time okay and then we're gonna create our last keyframe here at 35. okay so then we have all our keyframes ready so these two need to be in the center right so what we want to do is we're going to go here to frame five and we're going to drag this rectangle all the way out of our screen. And we're going to do the same thing for this other one, but on the opposite side. Okay, we have these and then they come in there and then after 25, we got to go to 35 and we're going to bring this one all the way up. So sort of like passing through. Like stop, hey, I'm stopping by and then I'm continuing my way to wherever I'm going. Okay, so then the next thing we need to do for our text. So we're going to create a position key from here going to the layout section. And then on our text now, we're going to create the keyframe for the position the same way that we did for this rectangles that we have. Okay, and then we're going to use the same keyframe points here. And we're going to go and add the movement right okay so then we're gonna make it follow the same first rectangle that it's coming with and if you want to make sure that the position is right you can select 
press Ctrl and select them so you can see the shape of the other rectangle. And then we make it go away with the rectangle again. Try to put it right there in that position, okay. And we have pretty much our motion graphics transition easy there, right? And it there's something missing. So what can we do to make it a little bit um, cooler, I guess? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the height of them. And we're gonna have to check on something when doing this also. If on our first keyframe, we put it too close to the edge, it's gonna show up inside our screen. So we wanna make sure that we take those a little bit further away like that and then also at the end and I want to make them sort of like pill shaped right so how do we do that we're gonna go here to the corner radius portion and we're gonna increase the like corners a little bit and they look a little bit weird right there so it doesn't look cool so we're gonna not do all the way there we're just gonna make it like these so like 0.37 and we're gonna copy the settings to the other rectangle that we have so when coming in they sort of look a little bit like a like with the corners and we have our text there and we want to adjust it a little bit so our text goes a little bit higher too so then it sort of like has the same tribal distance okay and after we have that what can we do one thing we can do is we can add a drop shadow to these and that is basically gonna add a little shadow right here so that then the footage that's below so it looks like a, there's a bit of depth between these motion graphics transition and your actual video or image that you're using below right we're also going to change something in our text that I forgot is we're going to change here the age anchor anchor to the left so that when we write down or when we write something, it doesn't come from the center, but it comes from the left. And then we're going to move our path here. Try to make it straight and then we're going to do the same to this one like that so then when we write something it sort of like goes that way and it doesn't just go both ways if you have it on center it will just expand to each side so it's easier to control our letters like this okay all right since we have these what can we do next the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our spline tool here and we're gonna select both of these and three of them actually the text two and we're gonna go select all pressing Ctrl A and then we're gonna press F and that's gonna make it smooth a little bit. If you wanna make it wiggle a little bit, you can press this thing and that's sort of like gonna make them not stay stationary here. So this is gonna still sort of like move a little bit. Like that. And that adds a little bit more of like life. It makes it feel a little bit more alive, I guess, cause it's not completely staying still. It's sort of like a way to distract the eye of the viewer for a mini second so that they get ready for the next thing. Sort of like a little scroll stop, I don't know. Okay, anyways, um, after that, what we can do as the last thing is we can go here to our each of the nodes, the text and the rectangles, and we're gonna add the motion blur. So we're gonna put the quality to four, and I like to put the, mo the shutter angle to like 30. Cause, so it's not that blurry if if I put sometimes if I put it too high it looks way too blurry and it it just it's not as smooth if it is too sharp you know it's it, it, it needs to be subtle okay then we can move these and preview these preview why do we keep seeing preview anyways preview these and that is pretty much how it looks you can also add another text node if you want to this one if you want it to be here um, we can just straight up copy and paste this connect it there but then it's gonna be showing here right so how do we do this we simply grab everything and we're gonna move these oops simply move everything like that 
and instead of having the keyframes all the way up there let's see if we can flip this there it goes well not that flipping doesn't really work okay so we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these right here in 15 but we're gonna adjust the position and we want to make it be up here and we want the anchor here to be from the left so this is going to be the position for that and then we're going to go here copy these points onto the frame at 25 and then our beginning point point has to be at the bottom right so we're gonna press copy the x and then we're gonna make it go all the way down and then we're gonna go to let's see where is it frame 35 And we're gonna increase the height of it we're gonna put the x on the same axis there and but we're gonna make it go all the way out like up and then we're gonna move these we can get rid of that and that is how our thing looks like if we add that last text note Yeah, and that is pretty much how you do an interesting motion graphics transition that you can use on any videos that you want. And talking about it, I actually made a package here. Um, it's on my website. If you want to check it out, it's, I think it's like 29 of them. There's like 15 unique ones and then they have their like variations. Um, and then you can get that on our website if you're interested and if you want to use this type of stuff. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link down below. And without further ado, I hope you have a nice weekend. And yeah, this was the episode for today, Friday. And I showed you how you can make a cool motion graphics transition that you can use on your own videos. And I hope to see you in the next video here in Suave.